speaking with my family, we feel when we enter into our homelands that there is this immediate embodied connection that we feel. We have a shift in our, in our body and I think people feel that if they've been displaced and then they go back to their home and they resonate with it in their bones and their memory. And so that's what happens to us when we go to our homelands. So there's this sort of undertone in all of my work of what is the history of the land and how and what is our history of, of this land. Well, Homelands is about embodying Gantzantzant for the Goa Saoyela, the great immense movement of the natural world. So it's all about aligning and making those connections. For a lot of the times people are disconnected forcefully or just because it's the world does not encourage us to make those important connections to, to the natural world and to honor the natural world. Over the pandemic, we captured a lot of video within our traditional homelands in our territories, within the land, really making it a transformational piece that is like entering into transformational space. People will, from the hustle and bustle of the city, enter the space of this otherworldly earth environment, stop in quiet. It's a piece that is very dreamlike. I'm also miked, so I will be live speaking and sounding on the stage. All of the text in Homelands is Gaingeha, and it's really important that I speak in Gaingeha because it is about Homelands. We get our language from the land. So everything related conceptually for Homelands has that direct tie to our traditional Homelands, our ancestral lands, our ancestors, and the natural philosophy that informs everything that we do with Ongwahoi people. And the other aspect is grieving, grieving and condoling with the land and the harm that's been done and the grieving that's taking place when you are disconnected from your homelands. We are earth, we are land.